Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 21st, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of selling, but at the end of the day, we rallied right back up, and then we saw a substantial whipsaw intraday where we just whipped all the way back down and then tried to rally in the last few minutes back up. This uncertainty is keeping us locked in a range of price action that has been, well, pretty volatile and probably very frustrating for a lot of traders. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, before we get started, I wanted to um, let everyone know that there is no blog today, and I guess I'm just feeling lazy. There's not a lot on the uh, earnings calendar, and I thought it's a good day to take a, take a day off on the blog because as we ramp up, in these earnings reports, um, we're going to need that blog to cover all of the notables that are coming uh, down the pipeline. So let's take a look at the diamonds here and see if we can figure out what we've got going. As you notice here in that chart, I'm going to put my drawings back up here on that chart. We've been stuck and um, I continue to talk about this. Um, over and over and over um, here in the market. Now what we have done is we've kind of slipped beyond this trend here as you can see. We're just kind of continuing to chop in this range. We continue to be bound by the resistance to the top side and honestly I could at this point I could really pull this down and say there's our resistance in the chart for now because we're struggling to be able to push through that level. But honestly, that it, up in here is where our resistance resides at the moment. And um, you can see we've broken out from underneath that downtrend, so that's bullish for the chart. Now, technically speaking, if we look at our uh, moving averages, there's really nothing here that's bad. We've got um, our prices above, our, our short-term moving averages are back above the 50. We do have that 50 declining here in the chart. We're, we're holding right above the 500 day moving average, but just showing that lack of momentum, we can't seem to get any momentum to either move up or move down. Our volume continues to be below normal and just some odd price action in the market. So if those bulls find inspiration today, well, I would suggest that we might push up here and retest this resistance level in the chart. And if we're able to push through there, then again, we're gonna come right back up here and maybe test that area up here in the chart. If those bears, if those bears find something in the data today to find inspiration, then I'm gonna suggest that we will challenge this price support here in the chart. And of course, if that were to fail, then we're going to be looking lower. And unfortunately, that could be um, a big point move and a rather painful move. And I suspect if we do get some kind of data that really pops this market, I think we're wound up so tight right now in these indexes that we're either going to get a big pop to the upside and it'll be a substantial move or a big letdown in the market and once again a painful substantial move um, particularly for those um, bulls in the market it it could come even as kind of a shock now i don't know what is going to occur here and i and i suspect a lot of this uncertainty is the big wait and see on the on the tech giant earnings reports and we're going to start getting some of those next week so 
kind of stay tuned. Maybe we'll just keep chopping until we get there. Then let's take a look at our SPY. SPY also in a good pattern here. When we look at our technicals, there's really nothing wrong here. Obviously our 50 day moving average is softened and flattened up and we're still overextended from that 50 day moving average. And just keep in mind when we're stretched away from a 50 day moving average, it is just not uncommon that we see something that occurs that pulls us back into that 50 day moving average. Now, if we look at our um, upside trend, you can see that upside trend here. We are sliding beyond that. We continue to be range bound in this market stuck between resistance, stuck between support. So if you're frustrated right now um, as a trader, well, you're not alone. Uh, we, we just can't seem to gain a whole lot of momentum. You're probably finding when you're finding those trades to buy, you just can't get much out of them because we're not getting those big moves. Now, of course, intraday traders, um, they're celebrating. This is an intraday traders uh, dream market because all we are is whipsaw and back and forth and they're trading these really quick moves in and out um, of the market. However, I'm hearing from a lot of those intraday traders saying even the momentum is, is making it very difficult for them to do much good. So um, it, it's a frustrating market. That's all there is to it. So if those bulls find inspiration here today, well, once again, I'm going to suggest we're going to come up here and we're going to test that resistance and see if we can break through that level, if they find that um, whatever it might be to really get things going to the upside. And then if those bears were to find inspiration, well, I, I had mentioned that we might test this price support area right down in here. And we did that yesterday, bounced off of it. And you can see in the pre-market, we've got a little bit of bearishness there on the SPY. So watch that carefully. We may slip that one um, here at the open, but we could also reverse this really easy depending on the data going into the open. So I would watch this next level down here and you can see that kind of incorporates all this price action in in that area is the next level of price support. And if that were to fail, maybe we come down here and we start testing these lows and some of these high points in the chart. Let's take a look at our NASDAQ. Once again, NASDAQ, very, very bullish. We um, have been stuck in this range. This index got overbought. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. It got overbought. We stretched too far away from our 50 day moving average. We went too far too fast. And now we're just resting and consolidating that move. When you look at our, our technicals here in the chart, there's nothing here that's bearish in those technicals. However, we just continue to be lost or, or wandering in this range, whipping back and forth, um, very data dependent, very uncertain, um, I think, about what the future um, holds for us. And as you can see, we've got um, resistance above, support below, and I think that's where we're going to be going. If, if the bears find inspiration, well, we might test this level here. If that were to fail, and, and break down, then we might have a pretty substantial move lower here in the QQQ. And that would probably upset the bulls here a little bit because we would lose this upside trend. And then if those bulls find inspiration, maybe testing up in here and that possible breakthrough. So that'd probably upset the bears because suddenly we're reversing this to the upside and we're breaking that substantial resistance level here in the chart. So just keep a close eye on that. Our IWM, IWM, you know, no, there's just no question here. Um, it, it remains the most bearish in the market. And here again, we've been locked in a just down one day, up one day, down one day, up one day, down one day, up one day. And we're really starting to even lose the momentum with that, with these choppy 
um, candles here the last couple of days. So we're stuck in this range here. Unfortunately, this is the most bearish of the indexes. Short term downtrend still in play. So if we see those bulls find inspiration, I would suggest another test of this resistance up here to see if they can pop through. And if those bears find inspiration, well, test this support and see if they can break through. You can see right in here, there's this little trend trying to hold on. So if we were to break down through there, well, that might bring in just a little bit more bearish activity. We'll have to wait and see. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX continues to be odd. And, I, and odd, I think, because of the massive rise in zero data expiration options trading. Uh, when we're getting 40, 45% of the entire volume of options being traded in zero data expiration options, we're getting some very weird readings here in our VIX. So we've seen a lot of complacency, I think. That's what it's showing us here, but we may not be quite as complacent as it's showing us. And that's just because there's so much trading going on in zero data expiration. We're getting light volume trading and standard options trading. So we may not be getting a good clear reading on this, but here again, if those bears were to find some inspiration and push up, then I would look at a resistance level here in the chart. And then also looking at maybe breaking that little downtrend here in the chart. And if those bulls continue to find um, inspiration and no fear here in the market, then I would look for this support level to break in um, the VIX. And one thing that can happen here in the VIX is if it does break, it can move really fast. So be prepared um, in case we do get that shocking uh, news that's going to move us up strongly or that shocking news that's going to move us down sharply. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 has been signaling to us for a while that we've been overbought and we've needed to relieve some pressure to the upside. Yesterday we got some of that um, pressure relief, but I don't know that it's enough to make any difference. We right now just have this, uh, um, we all want the market to go up and um, we can't get momentum, but we're still just holding enough buying in there um, at the moment to, uh, to keep the market from sliding back or pulling back and breaking some of these support levels. So as that momentum continues to die out here, that's where we can, we've been winding and winding, and it's like winding up a spring. We're waiting for something to move us in a, in a really big way. And in T2122, it's telling us that because we've pulled back in here, we certainly have an upside opportunity where we can press up into here and push back toward that um, bearish reversal zone here in the market. And maybe a Friday is a day to do that. We'll, we'll wait and see. And if those bears find inspiration, it's also telling us that we still have a big downside opportunity that could occur if there's something in that data that um, shifts those bulls over a little bit and says it's time to take some profits rather than just continuing to press and press and press. So we'll have to wait and see on that, but it, it, it's not giving us very um, it's not telling us which way we're going to go. Uh, T21 doesn't do that. It does tell us where those pressure points are when we're overbought or oversold. Right now, we're just kind of winding or wandering around in the wilderness looking for direction. If we take a look at our T2108, T21 is also kind of showing us that little bit of wandering here. Little pullback yesterday, 45% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average kind of stuck here between a support level and a resistance level. We're just not gaining much momentum here in the market, but I got to give this to the bulls. This is a bullish move because we've broken that downtrend and they're still holding in here. We're not getting any energy, but we're holding in here. If we take a look at our T2107, very much the same thing. We're just kind of flat. Um, 
not much going on here. We're kind of stuck between a support level. We're stuck um, below a resistance level. 45, 46% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Here again, got to give this to the bulls because they're continuing to move up in this trend and they've broken the downtrend, but no energy. Um, um, either direction and it is possible I think we we stay stuck in this until we hit some of those big tech earnings next week let's take a look at our t2101 t2101 is the absolute breadth index of the market and it's trying to show us that momentum of price moves and you can see we just we've lost momentum there's just no energy um, in the market. There's just enough to hold us there. There's not enough bearish activity to push us down. There's not enough bullish activity to push us up. We're just kind of stuck in the mud. Spinning our tires, probably a very frustrating condition for a lot of traders out there. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today and see if we can get something in the data here to kick us out of this mud that we're stuck in and unfortunately not a real heavy day of data but we do have one data point that could provide us with that inspiration either bullish or bearish pmi composite and as you can see on that pmi composite um, it is that number that tells us whether manufacturing is in growth or if manufacturing is in decline anything above 50 says that manufacturing is getting some growth. What the consensus is suggesting is that it's gonna come in at 49.2 today, which um, again, is not showing us that help in manufacturing. And if you looked um, at our Philly Fed number yesterday, that was horrible, an absolutely horrible uh, manufacturing number, but obviously the market just didn't care much and tried to rally back up um, in favor of earnings. Um, what's happening in our economy is things are slowing. And if we continue to see manufacturing coming in below uh, that mid-level uh, a 50 reading, that is a problem. So watch that closely. That could inspire both bulls or bears because we're close enough to that 50 point that if we cross above 50 on the number, well, we could see bully, bulls uh, take advantage of that and push it up. They, they like to jump on anything that's positive in economic numbers and push, and they just totally ignore anything that's negative. At least that's what we have seen this week. If we get a negative data point on housing or any of this stuff, we just, we don't care. Um, we just keep pushing to the upside in favor of earnings or the hope or the hype, I should say, on earnings. So watch that closely. If that comes in negative, it could um, and maybe this time inspire the bears. We'll wait and see. Um, we've got um, some Fed speak here today. Um, Baker Hughes word rig count, which no one's really going to care about. On the earnings side of the coin, we don't have a lot going on here either to really move the market a bunch. We've got ALV that we'll be reporting this morning, and as you can see, getting a little bit of a negative response here. What'll be important on this is if we happen to fail this price support in the chart, then we could see that really turn into some ugliness in ALV. Um, we've got FCX reporting today. Copper. Copper's been on the rise here recently, but unfortunately we're seeing a little bit of bearishness here in the pre-market on that. But I don't know that that's been a report yet. Um, I think what we're seeing is the dollar trying to strengthen today. It's also moving gold and silver lower here at the moment. So watch carefully for that report. That could be important. Let's take a look. We've got HCA reporting today. Got a nice pop there on HCA. Healthcare has been one of those strong sectors of the market. Nice little bullish upside trend consolidating mode. So this is going to be popping big time at the morning open. We've got Procter & Gamble that has just reported better than expected earnings. You can see pushing to the upside here. We've still bound by a little resistance to the upside, but Procter breaking out of this nice little consolidation. Again, that healthcare consumer defensive area has been very, very strong 
in the market. And then let's take a look. We've got SAP that will be reporting today. It's also trying to break up, uh, break higher out of this consolidation, moving to the upside. So keep an eye on that. And we will also hear from Schlumberger today. So keep an eye on that. We've been seeing oil and oil stocks suffering here just a little bit because of the thought of the slowing economies around the world and demand destruction coming into play. Schlumberger being a, uh, a refiner uh, by and large challenging that downtrend, uh, challenging some resistance in the chart right now. We'll see if they can produce earnings or not, uh, good enough to either break uh, that to the upside or um, bust this little upside trend that has been pushing it us pushing us up here recently. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've been you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thanks so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Share these videos out on your social media feeds. That helps a lot as well. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. Let's take a look at some of these charts. And remember guys that a lot of volatility could occur here yet today, a lot of uncertainty could occur here today. So make sure you're not uh, f blindly following any trade ideas here. Um, make sure it fits your own trading rules, it fits your trading tolerance. And just keep in mind that we could get that data point that moves us big in either direction. So be careful not over trading a dull market like this. It's easy to do. It's easy to feel like, gosh, I got to do something. I'm here. I got to do something. And to over trade can cause some significant damage to your account. And you may have experienced that before. Let's take a look. Um, I've been look, uh, talking about FedEx here for a while. FedEx in a beautiful upside trend, as you can see, just resting and consolidating here in this chart. And if we're going to be bullish in this market, we're definitely going to need the shippers to continue to push higher. So as we rest back along this support area and trend, watch for that next opportunity that we find that inspiration to push on through there on FedEx. Um, UPS, as you guys know, I've talked about this one as well. UPS also in that same arena, breaking um, above this downtrend, breaking through some resistance. And now yesterday we got a little bit of rest and pullback in there. And we may need to hold up here for a while or pull back into this trend. But if we could rest in this area, I would look for that next opportunity to the upside if those bulls can get things going there. You might want to take a look at some of those defensive sector stocks. My goodness, um, staying strong. Take a look at Hershey. Um, Hershey has just been incredibly strong, continues to stay strong. It's one of those old, boring defensive sector companies, but doggone it, boring can sometimes be very profitable and you can do it without all of the wild volatility that we're seeing in some of the other sectors. So watch that closely. Hershey looking good. Take a look at um, Clorox. CLX breaking out, moving to the upside and stretching through again, old, boring companies showing lots of strength, lots of potential upside. Colgate Palmolive, all kinds of setup here for a potential pop to break through. Nice bullish candle yesterday, trying to follow through this morning. Watch that closely if that can push up into these resistance levels. And the thing is, we're seeing a lot of these. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart also consumer defensive sector here in the market. It's also a retail sector, obviously, but showing all kinds of bullishness pushing up toward um, its next earnings report. Boy, if it can break through that resistance area right there. Um, could have some nice upside coming in Walmart. Other places that I think are kind of interesting to be paying attention to, take a look at utilities. 
XLU utilities have been holding in here nicely. Nice bullish pattern breaking through the downtrend. We've got this W type formation in here. We broke through that resistance. We're holding up here in this area. I would be watching for that next opportunity here in XLU to start moving on higher. And if you don't want to trade that the ETF here, XLU, just jump into the sector and there's a lot of bullish charts out there like Consolidated Edison popping through moving to the upside i think there's some upside opportunity take a look at so challenging this huge w bottom formation trying to break through here watch for that next opportunity in so and there's quite a few nee showing that bullish pattern moving up in a trend holding above support levels watch for that next opportunity for that to push on through so there's a few stocks for you to consider a few areas of the market to consider that are holding up quite well i want to wish you guys all the very very best and wish you a fantastic weekend thank you so much for being here this week i do truly appreciate it be safe out there be careful enjoy your weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning wishing you all the very best